possible, no matter the odds. Hey my ladies, as promised, I come to you with my DIY rubber base gel nail tutorial. As you can see, these are my natural nails. I've shaped them into an almond shape. The next step after you shape your nails is to use an alcohol-based solution to remove any oil from your nails. Try not to use anything fluffy because it can leave the fluff behind and it might give you trouble when you apply your nail polish. I used a wet wipe which was not a good idea so I would advise you against it. Already in your nail kit you know you need a filer, you need an alcohol based solution, you also need a cloth, preferably something silk. Next you need to add a nail tool to push your cuticles. The next step is to use this tool to push your cuticles. Make sure you do this gently and you do not hurt yourself. Unfortunately, I could not find a cuticle cutter where I bought my nail supply. But there is something called a cuticle cutter where after you push your cuticles, you go in with the cutter and you actually cut them and trim them off. I get, but I could not let that stop the show, so I used the other side of the cuticle pusher to try and you know reach out for my cuticles and remove any dead skin um, that might um, cause any trouble when I apply my gel. Yo guys, I cannot emphasize enough the importance of removing your cuticles and cleaning your cuticle area because this step is so important to ensure that um, there is no lifting of the gel and also it ensures a very very neat and precise application of the gel cuticles they can actually make your gel application look untidy A step that's also part of nail preparation, which is so, so, so important and one of my secrets to why my gel application lasted me two months on my natural nails is the use of uh, this Ultra Bond. You can also use something called a Sticky Bond, but that is not gel based. So you'd rather use the Ultra Bond if you are applying gel. And I promise you, your nails will last you a month or two. But I do not advise you to keep your nails for two months. I only did this just to prove a point, which was not cute at all. In a very neat manner, I've applied a very thin layer of the Ultra Bond. And I've used the UV lamp to cure it or to dry it in a more understandable terminology. Um, because it is gel based. Now that I'm done with nail prepping, the real work starts. I'm now applying my rubber base coat. I'm using the Bling Girl rubber base coat. Please, nail guys, listen to me carefully. When I apply the rubber base gel, I do one nail at a time before moving on to the next nail because the rubber base gel is very loose and it moves very easily so you need to do one nail dry it or cure it before moving on to the next nail how you apply the rubber base gel not so simple but let me try and explain you first go in with a very thin layer of the rubber base gel make sure that the brush doesn't have a lot of gel and you apply that thick thin layer Make sure you do not go anywhere near your cuticles. If it does happen that you put some gel on your cuticles, please remove it before you go any further. 
After you apply that neat thin layer of the rubber base gel, do not cure your nail. Do not put your nail inside the UV lamp. Go back with the same brush, pick up more product in the bottle. Make sure this time you pick up a very thick amount because we are now building up the nail. Remember, we're not using acrylic. We're only using the rubber base gel. So you need a, a generous amount of gel on your brush. Please guys, do not have ihaba on the step, but do take enough to build up your nail bed, right? And you put that on the center of your nail bed, right? And then just work your way to the top. Remember, I did say this consistency is very loose, so it moves very quickly. So you need to work very fast. Put in the thick layer of gel, tilt your hand to the sides, left, right, and then turn your hand upside down and let gravity play its part. Basically, all you do is you use movement to distribute the gel across your nail bed by moving, tilting your hand to your left, to your right, and flipping it upside down to create an apex or to bring everything towards the center or you can even move it oh, vertically down to distribute it from your down and back to your cuticles i don't know if i'm making sense but i hope um the way i'm demonstrating it makes sense and then you cure or you dry each nail before moving on to the next one i hope when I'm using or uh, when I'm applying my thumb, you guys get the gist of what I was explaining. But basically, you do not use the brush to move it around. You just use movement to tilt the gel. And if you feel like you need to add more gel, you can always pick up more gel after you've dried or cured um, the nail and just make it more thicker. But the most important thing is to make it very, very smooth. Because once you dry it, it does not, you know, you can't really remove it unless you file it and you don't want to go down that route. But I mean, if push comes to shove, you obviously need to file it down and make it more round and smooth. Personally, this is the most complex step. The application of the rubber base gel for me is very important. So I like to take my time and go from nail to nail and make sure that everything is smooth before um, moving on to the color and um, top coat. It does have a sticky finish after drying. So you need to wipe it with alcohol and cloth and make sure you wipe thoroughly before you move on to the color. If I tell you I found my perfect shade of red, this is what I mean. I've literally been looking for this particular shade of red and I'm so happy that I finally found it. I hope it doesn't run out, but I'm so happy. Um, with the final product and the color and how it looks on me so with this step it is very straightforward but the key is to build the color up you need to apply in thin layers do not rush it make sure you apply in thin layers guys thin layers 
is the way to go. You need to make sure that you clean the sides as well as the cuticles for each um, layer you apply before you put it in the UV lamp because we do not want any um, spillage on the sides that will look untidy. You need to go in very thin layers and build the color up. Do not take any shortcuts because it will catch up with you at the end. Remember, we're going for a very, very clean, smooth finish. And the way to go is to, I mean, take it a step at a time. Just trust the process and trust me, guys.
long lasting shine as compared to the normal top coat so I 100% recommend this top coat make sure that you apply a generous amount because you don't want to go in with the second coat and also make sure that it's a neat application take your time and also clean the sides if there is any spillage and after you've done that put it in the uv lamp for a minute and you are almost ready to go just a small tip it's always nice to do your thumbs last with all the applications from your base to your top coat so that when you put in your thumb you can put it upwards to avoid any you know movement or shift of your product to your sides at this point i was so excited for the color as well as the shape i love love this red and i love how it looks on my hands The last step is to apply your nail and cuticle oil not the least but the last step i am so excited for you guys to learn how to do your own nails to save yourself some coins and some time and to also save yourself from some bad experiences i am joking <laughs> if you like this video and you found it um educative and informative please give it a thumbs up comment down below with any feedback uh any input um as well as subscribe if you haven't subscribed i really truly appreciate you guys and i will see you guys on my next